For more than half a century, the Charles H. Wright Museum has educated people about African-American history and culture. This staple in downtown Detroit is one of the largest African-American museums in the nation. In fact, it was the largest before the one in D.C. opened up. And this weekend, you can support all that they do in the community at a special event. It's the Wright Gala masquerade with more than a dozen local restaurants serving up food. I can't get it around my head. I wanted to get in the spirit. It's okay. Oh, we can just do this. Yeah, we can do there this. Are, right All right. There. They're going to be... Joining us is one of the <laughs> chefs participating, <laughs> Chef Mandel. Let's all join in here together. Yeah, let's do that. How are you, Chef? Wonderful. How are you? Because this spread is some kind of wonderful right here. Jason, doesn't this look like a birthday spread to you? Oh, my truck is right out back. You can just put it right there. Yeah. <laughs> there's, like there's enough beef there to last a lifetime. That is uh, quite the spread. Very so, good. Very well done. Chef, you are from a touch of class catering, correct? Yes. So this is going to be a strolling dinner. And what is all of this that you brought in? Is this what some of the things that people are going to be able to sample? Yes, these are things that we'll be serving uh, this Saturday at the Charles H. Wright Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, we're starting over here, looks like. Start right over here on yeah. the left. This is um, lamb chops, uh, persiat with the uh, rosemary and garlic jus. Very lovely. Uh, coming to the front, we have to keep vegans in mind. So this is a totally vegan dish. These are mm -hmm. vegan Yukon gold potatoes, roasted um, mm. portobello mushroom, and grilled vegetables with a balsamic glaze. That's delightful. Coming here, we have a Parmesan crusted salmon with a sweet and white potato dauphin wah, roasted Brussels sprouts, and pickled red onion. Very lovely. And then we love the sweets. So we're going to skip straight to dessert. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so this is a bourbon bread pudding with um, red wine and uh, brandy caramel, pardon me, and candied walnuts. You said a bourbon bread pudding? Yes, mm -hmm. it I'll is. Just, I'll just take mm -hmm. this. Jason will take yes, it that. Is. Yes. And what do we have here? This is going to be one of our stations. This is a carved beef tenderloin with caramelized onions, roasted Ooh. peppers. And uh, red onions. Watch out now! <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about, is this salmon over here? Yes, this is another um, differentiation of salmon. This is salmon, pan seared salmon with wilted spinach and a brown butter vinaigrette. Same kind of potato. But since we do have a potato bar Saturday, I kind of want to feature more potatoes. Very nice, a potato bar. And up then here? some lovely ooh. key lime pie. Key lime pie right Absolutely. back here. Oh, the, the guy got a reaction out of Randy. He's eyeballing that key lime pie. And up front, we have some veggies, right? Yep. Again, roasted veggies, because we have to keep in mind a lot of people are going vegetarian and vegan. Okay. All right. Well, let's bring in Ed Foxworth. Come on in. He's going to give us some details about the event. Thank you for being with us. Oh, absolutely. Wouldn't have missed it. All right. So the event is this Saturday. Talk more to us about what it's all about. It is Saturday, October 5th, starting at 6 o'clock p.m. It is our premier fundraiser at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History. And we're so excited because uh, we're going to be raising money for our programs, education, literacy, and public programs mm -hmm. at the Charles H. Wright Museum. So we have great programs like Camp Africa, Meet the Scientists, and a couple of others. Um, and so what's going to happen in the beginning, they're gonna, we're going to honor a couple of people. we got Judge Craig Strong, Mr. and uh, Mrs. Roy Roberts, and a couple of others that we're actually going to be giving awards to for their contributions to the museum. So it is a fundraiser, and then we're going to have a silent auction, a live auction. We've got, at 9 o'clock, the unmasking. So mm -hmm. we had our mask on, yes. but at 9 o'clock, we're going to take them off, wow. and dance the night away. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And we got 20 restaurants going to be there. That was going to be my yeah. next question. That's awesome. And this is an opportunity for people to come and have a good time, but support the Charles Wright Museum because it is an institution in our country. Absolutely. Like I mentioned before, you already know this, but I like to mention to people, you have to understand this gem was the largest African-American museum before the one this, uh, at the Smithsonian in D.C. opened right. up. So we have to keep it alive and keep it vibrant. That's right. That's so where can people get uh, tickets and information? Right, all they need to know? The rightgala.org. We want people to log on to that website. They can register for the silent auction if they can't make it. And okay. so they can start, you know, supporting the Wright Museum just by logging on. They can buy tickets right there, but we really want them to uh, go on to the rightgala.org. Thank you so yeah. much. And Chef, thank you for this beautiful spread. Thank you. We appreciate you. I'm about 30 seconds away from where I know. the lamp <laughs>